In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves for this encounter with the Lord in the Eucharist. Let us also acknowledge that we are not worthy of this encounter except because of His mercy. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light and hope to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord. And I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade to the water which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me weighed. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade, for the water had risen so high, it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba and empties into the sea the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, 
every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For whatever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose drumlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the outstanding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Please stand. Praise to you. clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the sheep gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda, with five porticos. In this lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool. When the water is stirred up, while I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, 
it is the Sabbath, it, 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 and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. A man was sick for 38 years. And the only hope he had for cure was the pool at Bethesda. But there was a problem. He could not walk. E unahan, ang paniniwala nila kapag gumalaw ang tubig, ang maunang lumusong ay gagaling. So, sa karera, talo ang pilay. And my dear brothers and sisters, I think this is a very good illustration of our life. This is our story. We are sick, maybe longer than 38 years. We need someone to heal us. We need someone to bring us to the pool. And that someone is Jesus. We cannot save ourselves. Only Jesus can. Kaya yung mga tao na iniisip na hindi nila kailangan ng Diyos, niloloko nila ang kanilang sarili sapagkat hindi natin maililigtas ang ating sarili. Diyos lamang sa pamamagitan ni Jesus ang ating tagapagligtas. Let us not forget that. No matter how bright we are, no matter how rich we are, no matter how talented we are, still, we need the Lord because we cannot save ourselves. Kaya yung pong mga ano, adik, halimbawa, drug adik, sex adik, yung mga alcoholic, sa kanilang mga rehab program, kasama yung spiritual eh. Kasi, Addiction cannot be addressed simply by scientific methods. There is a necessary element of the spiritual. Kailangan ng isang adik ang isang tagapagligtas. So, what is your addiction? Somebody or perhaps is addict to food. Pag nakakakita ng pagkain, huh, pagkain. No? What is our addiction? Is it waste of time? That can be an addiction. Or this can all, work can also be addiction. We are restless when we are not doing anything. We could not rest. We think we need to do something. So work has become an addiction. What is our addiction? My dear brothers and sisters, today we are being reminded only God, through Jesus Christ, can save us. But there is another part in the gospel that is worth reflecting. So, nakita ni Jesus yung may sakit. At ang tanong niya eh, do you want to be well? Imagine mo yung may sakit, tatanungin mo, gusto mo bang gumaling? Of course. 
but that is the way of the Lord. He does not impose. He does not impose. Do you want to be well? Because some, maybe some people would not like to get well. Maybe some people would not like to get out of their poverty. Nasane na sila sa kahirapan. Let us not presuppose. Kasi kamisan, ganyan tayo kapag tumutulong tayo. No, bigay tayo ng bigay. Pero tinanong ba natin kahit minsan, ano ba ang kanyang kailangan? Si Jesus tinanong, gusto mo bang gumaling? Kasi si Jesus hindi namimilit. Aanyayahan niya tayo, pero nasa atin ang pagpapasya. Aakayin niya tayo sa tama, pero nasa atin ang desisyon. Do you want to be well? Do I want to be well? Let us pray for one another that we may always find in Jesus a Savior who will make us well. Please stand. The better we know God, the more we realize our total dependence on Him. Aware of our limitations, we pray in our helplessness to God the Father as we say, Divine Healer, lift us up. Divine Healer, lift us up. That the leaders of the church may give their lives unsparingly in the service of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, Healer, lift, lift us, us up. up. That we may have the ge generosity of heart to offer ourselves and grow in our need to follow Christ, who is meek and humble of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, Healer lift, lift us, us up. up. That we may have true spirit of humility in our dealings with the poor and the oppressed, and that we may recognize the presence of Christ in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, Healer, lift, lift us, us up. up. That the sick may find love and support from those who care for them. Divine Let Healer. us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up. That those who have gone ahead of us may be united with God in His kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up. Lord God, Father of the poor, conscious of our weakness and our pride, hear the requests of your needy people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have, have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen.
Let us pray like Jesus. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but look on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.